So continuing uh, watching my way through films, uh, I got to one that I've been meaning to watch for years and years and years and years and years. I finally saw it. This is uh, Liliana Cavani's The Night Porter. This is one of the most controversial films of all time. It stars Dirk Bogard as a one-time SS Nazi who is now working as a night porter in Vienna at a relatively nice hotel. Um, Charlotte Rampling plays a woman who was at one point in the concentration camp at which Bogard's character worked. She is now married to a um, composer, a conductor, and has come back to Vienna for the first time since the war, Vienna being where she was from. Um, she was imprisoned because she, her father was a, um, I think it was a socialist or an anti-fascist or something. Um, she's one of the many non-Jewish prisoners in the prison, uh, camp. She survives the prison camp. You see this through flash flashbacks through a very sick and twisted sexual relationship with Bogart's character. Um, including at one point a recreation of Salome that is really gross. Uh, when they are reunited, this brings back all kinds of crazy feelings um, and leads to the rest of the film. I don't want to spoil, but the bits that are quite controversial. Now, um, part of me thinks that this film was, was um, marketed as an erotic thriller when it's not supposed to be erotic at all. Uh, if you watch the film, anyone who comes in and is complaining is not erotic or like, I don't understand, why is it erotic? Films are often mismarketed uh, because the people who market don't give a shit about the actual content of the film most of the time. They just want butts in the seats and money. And I have a feeling this movie being released in 1974 was, was totally misrepresented as some sort of erotic whatever. You can read the pull quotes that compare it to... Um, Last Tango in Paris and all kinds of stuff and having seen an interview with writer-director um, Liliana Cavani I don't think that is her was ever her intention and you should not view this movie as as erotic in the slightest sexual and erotic are not the same thing A. B. She's very much um, exploring the way in which power dynamics stay with you and how Stockholm syndrome, a new thing at this time, uh, or newish, you know, um, thing that was being sort of explored it can be real and it, and it can leave really strange psychological lasting effects. Um, and that's what this film is really about. And what's really great about this, um, criterion edition of it, which you can watch on criterion channel on filmstruck, or you can get the, the DVD blu-ray, um, what's really great is it comes with this other documentary as a special feature called um, La Donna Nella Resistenza, which it means the uh, Women of the Resistance. It's about an hour-long TV documentary that Cavani made um, interviewing all these women who worked in the Italian resistance. And it's a great supplement because in watching it, you really understand and seeing these women talking, many of whom were imprisoned in concentration camps. Um, seeing them talk about their experiences and the uh, the um, after effects of that ex those experiences and how it with, stays with them 20 years later, I think you can see the kind of uh, kernels that Cavani was trying to explore in her story in her later film. Whether she succeeds or not, that's up to you. But it's definitely not, I think, a case of trying to add eroticism to Nazi exploitation. I really don't think that's what's happening here. Now, whether you want to loop it, lump it in with all the Nazi exploitation films that were happening in the 70s, like The Boys in Brazil, etc., etc., whatever. That's all genrevocation again. Um, I think it's a much more psychologically interesting film than it's given um, credit for being. Uh, and again, I cannot, cannot, cannot recommend Women of the Resistance enough. It is one of the most powerful documentaries I've ever seen. It's 50 minutes long. It was amazing to watch and see these women talking about the things they did in their lives. Um, 
really to make the the world a better place. It's not even it wasn't even for their country. It was it was to build a better world for everybody. Um, it's a fascinating documentary. And then also on there, you there are two inter- interviews with um, Cavani. One talking about the night porter, and then two talking about this documentary she made. Um, so I just very much recommend this whole set. Watch it. Let it wash over you. Uh, think about where we're still <laughs> at in 2018. Yay. Um, great film, great documentary. Check them both out. You can watch them streaming still, or you can get the set from Criterion, and I recommend you do either.